In the heat of the afternoon, Ala Hassan is tapping away at his latest work. His studio is this small garden in front of his Baghdad home. But it wasn't always like this. Before the invasion, he was one of Saddam Hussein's favourite monumental sculptors. I used to have a certain lifestyle. Under Saddam, we made lots of murals and monuments in his palaces. There used to be plenty of work. Allah says he was no supporter of the regime, but that as an employer, Saddam wasn't all that bad. Saddam was an easy person to get on with, at least with us artists. He used to smile and he had a sense of humor. Six months before the American-led invasion, Saddam Hussein commissioned Allah to create a vast monument to the Iraqi nation. But it never got built. History intervened. Allah lost more than just his source of income. Like many Iraqis, he lost his security as the country descended into violence and religious fanatics tried to enforce their interpretation of Islam. I received death threats from Al-Qaeda. They called me an infidel and told me to stop making sculptures. So I stopped. I was scared. I destroyed some of my works. But now Iraq's recent history has provided him with a commission. On the last day of August in 2005, a throng of Shiite pilgrims was making its way across this bridge to a shrine on the other side. Suddenly, rumor of a suicide bomber swept through the crowd, causing panic and confusion. People were crushed, throwing themselves off this bridge into the river below. A thousand people lost their lives that day, but one local man, a Sunni called Othman, became a legend. He rushed into the water to pull people out, and the story is that he saved seven people's lives before drowning himself. Allah has designed this sculpture to commemorate that tragedy. When it's built, it'll be seven metres tall, a monument to reconciliation cast in bronze. But Iraq's political deadlock has put the project on hold. And so, for the moment, it remains just a model in a sculptor's front garden. Gabriel Gatehouse, BBC News in Baghdad.